Hey guys and gals, what's crack a lack and spicy here? Welcome to my channel, welcome to another video. Welcome to part two of the horse table built out of free material. Um, if you have not seen part one, a link to that video will be down in the description below. Go check it out. What we're doing in this video is I've got to get a roof put on to my little stable here. Uh, got the three walls put up. Now we're working on the ceiling. What we're going to do first is we're going to pan you around here. Over at this old feed shed, we got tin on top of it. I'm going I'm to take this feed shed down and rebuild it, uh, make a little smaller uh, feed shed. But some of the tin is what I'm going to use on this horse table here. So uh, we're going to go over here and see how much tin i got to take down. Start taking that down and then we'll figure out how we're going to put this roof up. <laughs> Dang it. I was just through getting the tin off that roof. I stepped down onto a nail. Oh my god. I think it's pretty good. Oh. Oh, I think it hit my bone. I seen it coming. I looked down, I was like, I hope there's gonna be a nail right there. And sure enough, all the way to the bone. <laughs> oh, when's the last time I had a tetanus shot? I think when I was working for the uh, police department and got bit by somebody, I had to go get a tetanus shot. Babe, how long does a tetanus shot last? 10 years. 10 years. I think it's 10 years or do I need to go to the hospital? No, you're fine. You can get to, you need to get back to finishing that oh, table. My wife has no sympathy. She's like, get back to work. Should have wore boots. Oh, man. Well, I can't go to the hospital because they ain't taking nobody. You got to be, like, serious because it's k -Roni. I'm going to die from tetanus because people got the k and won't let me into the hospital. Oh, man. All right, I got to go soak my foot, and then we'll get back to work. No, you're not. Put your I got to soak on. my foot. I'm going to fall. It's going to fall off. I'm going to get gangrene. It'll be okay. Oh, we're in a pink. Hey! Alright, so we got a we got a board up here. That's gonna be one raptor, and we're gonna uh, do three raptors, one in the front, one in the middle, one in the back. But here on the side, um, I'm not gonna have this flat down. I'm gonna bring it up about um, a foot and a half, and in the back we're gonna have it up about two feet. Uh, <clears throat> this land already goes uh, flows downhill into the pasture, so we're going to have the high slope at the back. That way everything will flow down into the pastures. All right, so my boards are only two foot long. I, these are already pre-cut. So the front I'm going to do a foot and three inches. On the back I'm going to do a foot and six inches. That will give me enough to put um, attached to the pallet. So I got my little line marked out. And then now I will screw this in. All right, so I got this one here. I put one in the back on all four corners, and then we'll figure out something about the middle. Okay, so we got that part put on, and now we're gonna put uh, a raptor on the back, and then we can determine how, uh, where a raptor in the middle needs to be, how high it needs to be. All 
all right so it is the next day um <clears throat> after i got the 10 moved over here i had to quit my foot is killing me today it was hurting really bad last night but a little swelled up not really red or anything so i think we're gonna be all, all right so what we're doing is uh we're getting ready to take a string from this back uh raptor to the front raptor uh to see how high we want the middle raptor to be uh, that way everything will be even it'll be even going all the way down so that's what we're doing right now in there. Alright. Alright, so we got our three raptors put on. Uh, now what we need to do is we're going to start putting our tin up. Uh, I got two more pieces of tin over at my brother-in-law's house I got to go get. The tin that I got I thought they were 10 foot long, but there's two different sizes. There's a 10 foot and a six, uh, 12 foot. So <clears throat> what we're wanting to do is take the 10 foot, put it on the front, and then take the 12 foot and overlap it. Because um, I want to overhang in the front and I want to overhang in the back and also on the sides as well. That way this pile of wood will be under shelter uh, where rain can't get to it and all this is going to last for a while. Um, but I think I think it's turning out pretty good. Well, I couldn't find my little ladder. Uh, I had a fold-up ladder. It's somewhere. Either my brother-in-law got it or we, I just overlooked it. So, back my trailer up here. Put a pallet on my trailer. That's what I'm going to stand on to start putting this tin up. Went ahead and threw little short pieces up there. And now I can start uh, tying, uh, screwing it down. Have a little lip on this side. Uh, have an eave going off the front of it. Let's get it done. All right, one more piece of tin on the on this side, and the front end will be covered in. Let me show you kind of what we ran into. I guess I miss uh, judge how long this thing was. I thought it was 13, or maybe I misjudged how long the pieces of tin were. Uh, but when I was putting the little 10 foot pieces up, uh, they you know we had a overhang. Well, when I went up when I went to put the long piece up. We'd reached all the way to the back to the front and we got we got enough overhang to uh come off the front and enough overhang to go off the back so some of that's gonna be hanging over a little bit more than the rest of it but uh yeah it's it'll pass government work I guess. Alright so I'm gonna put this other piece up and then we'll uh I'm gonna do the back part. Go ahead and get it put up, and then I'll be right back with y'all. So, I ended up having to go get those other two pieces of tin to finish out the roof. And I'm going to put these last two pieces on, and I'll show you what it looks like. I think it's going to be just fine for what we need. Whew, all right. So that was the last piece of tin to go up, last screw to go up on the on the roof there. So let's uh, let's take a little walk around and I'll show you what I got uh, going on here. All right, so here's the inside. That looks nice. And then come around on the side. Uh, I want I wanted to open up top. I'd give enough airflow. Through the front, the back, the side, and then the ceiling or the roof. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's got a few waves and humps in there. But like I said, you know, I'm not doing this a professional job. Uh, just what I had, what I got, a little help that I had to get this done. And it looks 
awesome so I need to uh, take my little tractor and trailer over and get some fencing and I'm gonna uh, start doing that but I'm not gonna worry about doing that on the video because uh, I mean it's just getting the fence unrolling it and putting it up along the uh, the fence that's already here as you can see I'm just gonna put the uh, the hurricane fence up around it so this is gonna be great uh, I think this turned out to be a great project and we have already thought about doing some other things here in the pasture uh, these pallets I was gonna take back up there and uh, put back in the pile but I'm not gonna do that what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make a um, a little chicken house with these and some more of the sides that I got here I'm gonna make a little chicken house and we're gonna put it out here in the pasture and I'm gonna put a big old yard for the chickens to be in with the horse so they'll we'll get them uh, relocate them out here everything will be together I think it's gonna turn out great so yeah uh, let me let me go do that right quick All right, and like I showed you in uh, part one of this video, um, I got some fence in here. Uh, I'm just going to take it and put it in my trailer there and take it over to the pasture and start unrolling it and just attaching it to the, uh, to the fence that's already there. I got my roll of wire, tie wire, and some fencing pliers. Um, that's all I need to get this stuff going. And with it being in sections like this, it's way easier to carry. Mm. Now I just stack as many as I can up in there, get going with it. All right, guys and gals, well, that's going to be it for this video. Part two of the uh, horse table build. I think it turned out, you know, pretty good better than what I was thinking because in my head I had a picture and what the way I was going to do it but the way we ended up doing ended up be a whole lot easier a whole lot less work and I think it, it would have been it just it just turned out better so what do y'all think y'all leave a comment down in the comment section below tell me what y'all think so I'm finna get on this old tractor head out there do some more work thank y'all so much for watching hope y'all enjoyed this video in the next video that I bring to you about this um we will be getting the horse now I'll, I'll come on here and i'll show you a little pony we're getting show you may joe's reaction show you out there in the pasture in the horse stable all that good stuff i'll bring you back to show you when we get that so all right guys thank y'all so much for watching part one and part two if you have not seen part one down uh in the description below like i said there's a uh a link to part one make sure you watch that so you can see what you know what we did first now we're done this time all right i'm pretty gonna try to get on out of here Thank y'all. See y'all in the next video. Until then, remember, everybody's got a little backwoods in them. I'll catch you later.